I'm currently running Body Linux inside Body Linux. You guessed it, my physical machine is Body Linux, but I'm using the open box theme, open box window manager. And here I'm having the old Body Linux, which is version 5.0. And as you can see, it's a also a beautiful wallpaper with 200 megabytes of RAM. So what we will have, we will do today is we will start with uh, how we in will install Body 6, and we will go into all the features or most of the features that are that make it one of the best lightweight uh, distros. So first, uh, we we put new as always Body 6. Linux it is an Ubuntu based next put it 1.5 1.6 create next okay and then we need the ISO it will be provided in the description location and body 6 start so we uh, we put enter first we load it default is English English and this beautiful welcome screen let us install it so we start continue English continue download updates while installing body and install third party we keep erase disk and install one continue continue and we'll come back when it's finished and it's finished so we we'll restart now and we'll come back when it's when it's finished. We're back and as you can see the wallpaper and everything is all green. If you don't like the green too much, you you should start by changing the wallpaper and we will change it later. But first off, we will start with the panel. Uh, we have this uh, start menu. We have Chromium, terminology and Tunar. Chromium is for is the web browser. As you know, the body is very fast. It will load it directly. And it tells you here, it gives you some information if you want to update how you do it. You put this command in the terminal and you can update. That's basically it for the Chromium browser. If we look here, they have the, the terminal. It is called terminology. Uh, this honeycomb background uh, you can change it if you want tunar is is a beautiful theming for tunar if you notice it's very very nice and you might be surprised by uh, for this very light desktop environment to have this uh, this polished look and as you can see here the the animation that is available when i hover around this next here we will have the the connection as i'm on the virtual box this is uh, this is by default the network we have the clipboard the volume notification battery and here if i want to log out if you want the panel on another side you can use it here from the orientation you can use whichever one you you want you want top left top right etc this is as far as the panel if we look at the desktop we have the clock here you can make it digital you just right click and you put setting you go digital and it will be a digital one close for the virtual desktop it's a neat uh, representation here you can place it in the desktop and you can use more than four so you right click virtual desktop setting you add here it will be around eight you can flip it like this and if you want to have some animation uh, if you want to sh flip from one virtual box you can use the zoom and the paint next thing the good stuff if I left click 
here or if I left click on the on the desktop you'll get this menu the the, the last one is the system you can log out uh, let's start from here the applications we have leafpad basic text editor we have graphics a very basic photo viewer the chromium web browser and we have uh, the tunar the terminology and the app center if you notice they have minimal software and that's their strategy if you want to build something up choose uh, whichever program and you can install it uh, last here is the body app center let us open it it's a basic uh, application center the graphical interface is like a web page here if you notice uh, these things you you'll find it hard in the terminal let's say moksha modules if i press it we have all these modules you can use let's say i want to install the cpu usage i'll click install let me click this one and open xdg do you wish to install i say yes of course it has to be that uh, password because i'm installing something on the system and authenticate we can go back and install the other let's say memory usage I install it I will put my password authenticate the other thing that you might uh, need to look at let me go back also is for the themes they have the body theme pack it will install all of them for us let us try the 7 theme it is like a windows 7 theme let's try it to see how it goes I say yes I put my password body Linux is faster than Windows 7 let us see the changes we'll go to setting modules so now the modules are in system we have the CPU and the BAM we can place them here and in order to get our uh, CPU and memory utilization as for the theme that we installed the 7 theme you have to go to themes here it will be moksha 7 here I press it if you like this theme you can keep it if you don't like green you should like blue let us uh, go back to moksha here so that's for the theme let us go the most important part here is the settings panel the settings panel is where everything is so let's say I want to change the wallpaper I have to be very careful here because there are four wallpapers here let's say I will choose a picture in the downloads so there are two pictures I will choose the first picture I will say ok and here in advanced we have to be very careful we have to put it in this desktop now it is in this desktop if I want to pick another one let me pick this one I will also put setting setting panel wallpaper add picture and in the downloads I think I need this this snake this desktop apply close close so now I have one desktop here second desktop third desktop now you tell me uh, we remove the animation you see here there is the virtual setting desktop flip animation is off but there is another one you have to take uh, care of is setting panel transitions here so in the transitions desktop change you remove it to none and put apply close so now if you want to change from place to place there is no animation so this is for the look for the apps there is the favorite applications this is very important why because you can do whatever you want let's say I want leafpad to be a favorite I will add it and let's say Thunar I will add it also you can pick all, whichever application you want apply close so now what happens when I right click I'll get these two 
if I left click I'll get the application we'll go over uh, desktop environment this is very important here if you if you installed KDE and you want the services to be in included you click this one this is very important if you installed KDE or, or GNOME on on above uh, Moksha virtual desktop we spoke about Windows also there's uh, too many customization you can do menu is the same thing language we'll talk about input input we have edge bind bindings this is a cool feature so what you have to do is if I want to add let's say if I if I press here on the left corner here put top left and I will stay there like 0.6 seconds I'll say apply so what will happen you can choose whatever action that you want let's say I want to open uh, to open a command and the command is leaf pad so when I put the top left edge 0.6 seconds it will be leaf pad go here it open leaf pad very neat the thing key binding the same thing same procedure it's very good they have uh, all these default ones that you have on your on your laptop if you install body they would they might actually work like increase the volume lower the volume so you don't need to worry about them if you want to add let's say I want to add open uh, Thunar I will say add I will press win E and later on when I say win E I'll go to something called command let me look for it command and you put here Thunar apply close so I press win E now it will open Thunar very neat you can do whatever you want the same thing with mouse bindings and mouse bindings we mean alt right and control right control and you press a button which is also the same and you do the same actions for that one there's one for touch also which is very important for the touchpad uh, the settings settings very important for a profile now I finished let's say I finished all my settings everything we uh, put the key bindings all of this I will uh, add a profile body profile if anything happens you can get back to it and here if anything happens to your profile when you are customizing you can directly come here to the profiles and go to body Linux it will directly reset your profile as as you were before this distro is a very lightweight distro as you can see it opened the the browsers very fast we did not have problem with loading and anything and you can install any other desktop environment if you don't like the moksha desktop and it will be perform very very fast